Understanding Pending Deposits at Chase Bank Hello, today we're going to discuss an important aspect of banking that you might find yourself wondering about. How long does it take for a pending deposit to clear in Chase? Understanding this process can help you manage your finances more efficiently, ensuring you have access to your funds when you need them. What is a pending deposit? Before we jump into the specifics, let's make sure we understand what we mean by a pending deposit. When you deposit money into your account, the bank doesn't usually make these funds available to you immediately. It first shows as a pending deposit. During this pending stage, the bank is verifying that the funds are legitimate and that the deposit transaction has no issues. How long does it usually take? So, how long does a pending deposit take to clear at Chase? Generally, the deposit should clear within two business days. However, the exact time can depend on several factors, such as the type of deposit, the amount, and the time it was made. Larger deposits might take longer to clear, and deposits made later in the day or on weekends or holidays may also experience delays. What factors can influence the timeline? There are a few things that could cause your deposit to take longer to clear. These include deposits made after the cutoff time or on non-business days. Chase, like many banks, has a cutoff time for when deposits must be made to count for that business day. Deposits made after this time will usually not begin processing until the next business day. Large deposits. If the amount of the deposit is large, it may take longer to verify and therefore longer to clear. New accounts. If your account is relatively new, Chase may hold deposits for a longer period as a precaution. In summary, while the exact timeline can vary based on a variety of factors, a good rule of thumb is that a pending deposit at Chase Bank should generally clear within two business days. If it takes longer than this, it could be due to one of the reasons we've discussed. As always, if you have questions about a specific deposit, it's a good idea to contact Chase directly. I hope this explanation has been helpful in understanding how pending deposits work at Chase. Thanks for watching.